Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be ranking my top 50 best NHL prospects. Now, the amount of talented prospects in the NHL right now is absolutely insane, and assembling the top 50 prospect rankings was about as hard as you would imagine. But who do I see as the best prospects in the NHL right now, and which prospects make my top 50? Watch till the end to find out. Now, a couple of days ago, I made my top 20 NHL prospects video, and that turned out fantastic. But a lot of you guys in the comments wanted me to go on prospects outside my top 20, and maybe even do a top 50 prospect rankings. And I might as well go for it, too. It was a super hard list to compile, but I have my top 50 prospects, 50 all the way down to 1. So let's get into it, shall we? Now, starting out the top 50 rankings and going to my number 50th best NHL prospect, I have Anaheim Ducks prospect Troy Terry. Center slash right winger, age 21. Troy Terry packs a lot of speed and a lot of punch. We saw that with Anaheim last season. He played about 32 NHL games and got a decent amount of points and overall just being an impact player for Anaheim when he did get that ice time. And that is huge because with Anaheim, they have a lot of good prospects and Troy Terry is definitely one of their best ones. When we got to my 49th best NHL prospect, prospect, I have Yanni Kukkonen. Left winger slash center with the Carolina Hurricanes at age 21. He had a breakout last couple of years in the AHL with the Charlotte Checkers, and especially this past season, just being an offensive beast all around. With Carolina, I think at the very least could be a middle six guy for them forward-wise, but I think at his best could be a potential first-line prospect if everything turns out well. When we got to number 48, my 48th best NHL prospect, I have Timothy Lilligren. Defenseman at age 20 with the Toronto Maple Leafs. When it comes to Lilligren, he had a little bit of a downgrade of a season offensively, but still with the Marlins, I think has a ton of offensive and defensive potential. And with the Toronto Maple Leafs, could be a top two defenseman as soon as probably in the next couple of years. When we got to my 47th best NHL prospect, I have LA Kings prospect, Akil Thomas. Center at age 19, of course, with the LA Kings. He was drafted in the second round back in the 2018 NHL draft. Draft, and I think he had no business dropping to where he did. I think he proved it this past season. Offensively, he put up more than 100 points in the OHL, which at age 19 is very, very impressive. And while he was a part of a fantastic Niagara Ice Dogs team, I think he was more part of the reason why they were so good, rather than just latching onto the good teammates. Moving on to my 46th best NHL prospect, I had the first Canucks prospect on the list, that being Vasily Podkolzin. Right here at age 18, drafted tempo overall in the 2019 NHL draft. And Podkolzin, as while I'm not as high on him as some other prospects and some other players in the draft, I still think he's a fantastic prospect with a lot of great skill. And the Vancouver Canucks drafting him tempo overall, obviously agree with that. Moving on to my 45th best NHL prospect, I have Montreal Canadiens defenseman Josh Brook. Defenseman at age 20, who was drafted 56th overall back in the 2017 NHL draft. And when it comes to Josh Brook, he had a monster of a WHL season last season. Probably should have won the CHL defenseman of the year. He was that good offensively and defensively. He didn't have the greatest world juniors. But with Montreal, he could be a top four defenseman in their future, I think at the very least. And offensively, could be one of their best defensemen in the next few years. Moving on to my 44th best NHL prospect, I have Jason Robertson. Left winger, age 20 with my favorite team, the Dallas Stars. He's the only Dallas Stars prospect in my top 50, but deservedly so. He won the OHL scoring title this past season with Niagara. Offensively, he's one of the best in the OHL, and prospect-wise, as well. Continuing with the offensive trend, for my 43rd best NHL prospect, I have Oliver Wallstrom. Right here, age 19 with the New York Islanders. He had a little bit of a rough learning curve in the NCAA this past season, but was still relatively decent, even though he disappointed a little bit. Was solid in the World Juniors, but in the AHL, both in the regular season and in the playoffs when he was called up, he was very sneakily good and scored a lot of goals, which he has always been able to do. Moving on to my 42nd best NHL prospect, I have Edmonton Oilers' own Evan Bouchard. Defenseman at age 19, drafted 10th overall in the 2018 NHL draft. And this pick might confuse a few people, but I've never really been a fan of Evan Bouchard. Even before he was drafted by the Oilers, I was never really a big fan of his playing style. I think he will be a decent NHL defenseman, and obviously being in the top 50, that is a very, very good feat for him. I think a lot of people maybe have him higher, but to me, he's a top 50 prospect, but not really that elite one. At least not yet. 
Moving on to my 41st best NHL prospect, I had the first Habs prospect on my list, that being Ryan Paling. Center age 20, obviously drowned in the first round back in the 2017 draft by Montreal. This past season was an interesting one for Paling. He had a okay NCAA campaign, nothing insane, nothing crazy, but still relatively solid. He was a monster for Team USA in the World Juniors versus teams like Team Sweden, was absolutely amazing. And in that one game with the Montreal Canadiens at the end of the season, got a freaking hat trick. So obviously the guy is pretty clutch, and hopefully we see that for Team USA, especially in the next few years. Moving on to my 40th best NHL prospect, I have the first NYR prospect in my list, that being Keandre Miller. Defenseman age 19, who was drafted 22nd overall in the 2018 NHL draft, and since then has done just so so well in the NCAA just being an absolute monster offensively this past World Junior Summer Showcase just being crazy offensively and the skating he already has for NYR will be amazing to watch in the NHL someday. Moving on to my 39th best NHL prospect, I have Emil Bemstrom, a right winger age 20 and Columbus's best prospect, I think by a large, large margin. He was drafted in the fourth round back in 2017, but since then is making a big name for himself. Last year was absolutely lethal in the SHL, and this next season will likely do the same. Moving on to my 38th best NHL prospect, I had the first ass prospect on my list, that being Alex Newhook. Center age 18, drafted 16th overall back in this 2019 NHL draft. And Alex Newhook has so, so much skill. With Colorado, I think he'll directly translate to their club. With a lot of speed, a lot of skill, a lot of offensive capability, one of the better offensive prospects in my top 50. We got my next Anaheim Ducks prospect. At number 37, I have Sam Steele. Center at age 21, who was drafted in the first round in 2016. This past season with San Diego was absolutely amazing offensively. Got about a half a point per game in the NHL, too, in about 22 NHL games, which is very impressive. He'll likely be the first line center for Anaheim in the next couple of years, and then Trevor Zegras will likely take his place. Moving on to my 36th best NHL prospect, I have Drake Bafferson of the Ottawa Senators. Slash so last right winger at age 21. This past season, the AHL of Belleville had over a point per game, which is absolutely insane. Has a ton of speed and a ton of offensive punch. And with the Ottawa Senators, hopefully, we'll take that next step in the NHL. Moving on to my 35th best NHL prospect, I have LA Kings' own Arthur Kaliev. Left winger age 18, who went in the second round back in 2019, in my opinion, had no business going in the second round. Should have been a top 15 pick, but ended up dropping to LA. And LA has a definite E for guys like him. He'll be a goal-scoring friend in the NHL soon, and while he is a little more one-dimensional, so far has proven himself as an offensive threat. Moving on to my 34th best NHL prospect, I have Nashville Predators prospect, Dante Fabro. Defenseman age 21, drafted in the first round back in 2016, and these past couple of seasons for Fabro and the NCAA have been pretty successful, especially offensively where he's packing a ton of punch. Played a few games with the Nashville Predators this past season, looked relatively decent, but on Nashville's defense, if he can get some more playing time, he will be very solid and a potential top four defenseman in their future. Moving on to my 33rd best NHL prospect, I have the second Islanders prospect in my list, that being Noah Dobson. Defenseman at age 19, who was drafted 12th overall back in 2018, and Dobson had a pretty successful QMJHL season this past season. He slumped a little bit at the start, got traded to a new team, and just went off and in the QMJHL playoffs, obviously won the QMJHL championship. So right now, Dobson, I think, has great two-way ability, some good leadership, too, and for the New York Islanders, that's a defenseman that they could definitely use. Moving on to my 32nd best NHL prospect, I have Matthew Boldy of the Minnesota Wild. Left winger AJ Teen, of course, drafted 12th overall in 2019. Matthew Boldy has some great, amazing all-around ability, and I've talked about Boldy before in the past, but he's a Swiss Army knife when it comes to offense, and a little bit when it comes to defense, too. With Minnesota, I think he's their second-best prospect, obviously behind Kaprasov, but could be a potential top six weir in their future. Moving on to my 31st best NHL prospect, I have another LA Kings prospect, that being Rasmus Kupari. Center at age 19, he was drafted 20th overall in 2018, and Kupari since that has done excellent, especially in the Liga, being great offensively, especially for his age. With the LA Kings, I think he could be a potential second line center. I think if you have him as your next second line center, that's fantastic. Having Alex Turcotte and Kupari as the top six centers right there will be great for LA in the future. 
And moving into the top 30, for my 30th best NHL prospect, I have Peyton Krebs. Center slash left winger for the Vegas Golden Knights, of course, at age 18. He was drafted 17th overall in 2019. At the end of my rankings, while he was kind of up and down for routes, he ended up still being in my top 10, even though he did have that surgery. When it comes to Vegas, though, he should be absolutely amazing for them. They already got Cody Glass as that dynamic forward prospect, but Peyton Krebs is not bad either. Moving on to my 29th best NHL prospect, I have Grigory Denisenko. Left winger, age 19, who was drafted 15th overall by Florida back in 2018. He had a solid year in the KHL and a pretty bad team, getting 6 points. And for his age, that is definitely, definitely impressive. He has a ton of skill offensively, and right now, that'll fit perfectly on the Florida Panthers. Moving on to my 28th best NHL prospect, I have Joel Verby of the Philadelphia Flyers. Left winger, age 19, of course, drafted 14th overall by Philly in last year's draft. And when it comes to Joel Verby, he had an impressive NCAA season, just offensively being offensively gifted. And with Philadelphia, definitely their second best prospect behind Morgan Frost. Moving on to my 27th best NHL prospect, I have Joe Valeno of the Detroit's Red Wings. Center age 19, who was drafted in the first round back in 2018, and he was drafted 30th overall, and has definitely proved a lot of people wrong for skipping out of him that much. And for Detroit, getting him a 30th overall is absolutely nasty. This past season, had 100 plus points in the QMJHL, and while points in the QMJHL don't exactly translate amazingly to the NHL, so far he's looking fantastic, and will play great for Team Canada in the World Juniors. Moving on to my 26th best NHL prospect, I have another for the Panthers draftee, Alexi Hepaniemi. Center slash right winger at age 20. He was drafted 40th overall back in 2017, but since then has made a huge day for himself, and rightfully so. Hepaniemi has had a strong couple of years, both in the WHL and the Liga. Had amazing point production last season in the Liga with Carpat. Just overall being absolutely fantastic. And with Florida next season, hopefully we see him take a next step, and hopefully the NHL get a lot more ice time. And moving into my top 25, for my 25th best NHL prospect, I have Toronto Maple Leafs defenseman Rasmus Sandin. Defenseman at age 19, who was drafted 29th overall back in 2018, since then is looking like one of the draft steals of the first round, and is looking very, very good. And Sandin, this past season with the Marlies, he wasn't expected to really make the jump, but he ended up making it, and not just making the Marlies, but being fantastic, and being one of their best players overall. He's still super young at age 19, and has a lot more potential. Too. Then when we got to my 24th best NHL prospect and the second goaltender of my top 50, I have Igor Shishorkin. Of course, New York Rangers prospect at age 23. He was drafted in the fourth round back in 2014 and since then has made a big name for himself as one of, if not the best goaltending prospect in the NHL. Now, I personally think Ilya Sorokin is a better goaltending prospect, but it's not too big of a gap. Shishorkin has been amazing in the KHL and hopefully will take a next step in the AHL as he gets a lot more playing time, especially away from St. Peter's. Then moving on to my 23rd best NHL prospect, I have New Jersey Devils defenseman Ty Smith. Defenseman at age 19 who was drafted 17th overall back in 2018. Ty Smith had an excellent year in the CHL. And while I personally believe that Josh Brooks should have won CHL Defense of the Year, he still was able to get that and had a great year too. With Ty Smith, he was very close to making the New Jersey Devils camp out of last year's camp. I think he could make the Devils out of this year's camp too. He's a very strong defenseman that could potentially be their number one guy for the future. Moving on to my 22nd best NHL prospect, I have Barrett Hayden of the Arizona Coyotes. Saturday at age 19, who was drafted 5th overall in 2018, and a lot of people, including me, were very confused by that pick at the time, but right now, it's looking a lot better than it used to be. Still not maybe worth that 5th overall pick, but a very good prospect still. He had an amazing year of the St. Sue Maria Greyhounds, offensively being absolutely gifted, and we all know of his amazing defensive abilities. So for Arizona, and if he could become maybe the first line center of the future, I would personally love to see that to prove not just me but a lot of other people wrong too. Moving on to my last pick outside of the top 20, I have Anaheim Ducks prospect Trevor Zegras. Center at age 18, who was drafted ninth overall in the 2019 NHL draft. And I love Trevor Zegras so, so much. And to put him outside of the top 20, honestly, again, still pains me to this day. But at number 21, still an excellent prospect in the NHL and one of the best center prospects in the NHL right now. I think he has tons of skill. And with the Anaheim Ducks, is almost a perfect fit. Now, for the people that didn't watch my top 20 prospects, one, 
what are you doing? And second, I'll let you guys know my top 20 prospects in case you didn't see that. Number 20, I had Adam Fox. And number 19, I have Alias Sorokin. And number 18, I have Martin Nikash. And number 17, I had Cole Caulfield. And number eight, 16, I had Dylan Cousins. And number 15, I had Nick Suzuki. And number 14, I had Kirby Doc. And number 13, I had Morgan Frost. And number 12, I have Adam Boquist. And number 11, I had Philip Zanania. And at number 10, I had Vitaly Kratsov. Now going into my top 10 picks, of course, at number 10, I have Vitaly Kratsov. At number 9, I have Eric Brandstrom. At number 8, I have Bowen Byram. At number 7, I have Kirill Kaprasov. At number 6, I have Alex Turcott. At number 5, I have Bowen Byram. At number 4, I have Cody Glass. And into my top 3, I have at number 3, Quinn Hughes. At number 2, Jack Hughes. And at number 1, the best prospect in hockey, in my opinion, that being Capo Caco. Now, if you want to see any of my reasonings for that top 20, make sure you go watch that video. But that is my complete top 50 prospects in the NHL today, and it was a big, big undertaking. It took a couple of hours at the very least to put this together, but honestly, when it comes to my top 50, there are so many fantastic prospects and so many great prospects that I couldn't put on the list, and a lot of prospects that kind of kill me to not have on here. Now, when it comes to my top 50, I wanted to give out a couple of honorable mentions, most notably the guys like Victor Soderstrom, Kristen Veselainen, Jake Bean, Owen Tippett, and last but not least, Moritz the Stud Cider. And those were the last few picks that were just outside my top 50. If I were to make like a top 55, those would be the guys from 51 to 55. But of course, with this video, I need to hear your guys' thoughts down in those comments down below. So let me know what you think about my top 50 NHL prospects. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Let me know. And of course, the big, gigantic, and huge question onto you guys. Who do you think are the best prospects right now in the NHL? But, if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you should click on this playlist right here to watch all of my hockey and slash NHL prospect videos ever. All of them right in one playlist. Get your popcorn ready, because it's definitely worth it. But, that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on my 50 rankings, what you agree with, and what you disagree with. I'll see you guys in the next video, or stream. Goodbye.